I'm not a terribly religious person, but I think when you're on the Colorado River, there's a sense of history and majesty that somehow sort of touches your soul. And I became deeply connected to it. It was the most beautiful place that I'd ever been. This magnificent river with these huge rapids, a powerful river through this incredible canyon. It's my lifeblood. A lot of me is the Colorado River. The molecules of my body have been brought there because of the river. Glen Canyon Dam was actually thought about in the early 40s. It was a political compromise that was made by probably a dozen people sitting in a room. There was a big debate about where to put the dam. The Bureau of Reclamation was a very powerful organization, and the decisions came down to putting a, uh, a dam on the Yampa River, which would have destroyed Dinosaur National Monument that a lot of people had seen and, and, uh, and revered, versus putting a dam on, on Glen Canyon, a place that almost nobody had seen. This decision was pretty easy then. We we're going to put it on a place we didn't know about. To me, the biggest cost is you, you flooded Glen Canyon itself, which was one of the most magnificent parts of the Colorado River Plateau. Now there's no question, if such a dam had been proposed now, it wouldn't make it. Glen Canyon would have been a national park in its own right. Dams are obviously bad, aren't they? They destroy natural ecosystems. Well, unfortunately, it's been 54 years now since the, since the dam was, was built, and a lot of the natural components of the ecosystem are adjusted to the dam in one way or another. When I started running the river, it was 1973, and it had only been 10 years since Glen Canyon Dam had been completed. What I saw was much more how the river looked before the dam was there. Before, it was this wild, raging animal of a river. That river in flood can carry a pound of mud in a quart of water. So there's a lot of complexity, the way the ecosystem is adjusted to the dam operation over a 53 year, 54 year period of time now. It cooled the water temperature, made the water clear, and it stopped flooding. Each of those has had impacts on how the river ecosystem works. Over several decades, I watched the vegetative changes along the banks of the Colorado River. I watched the impacts of Glen Canyon Dam water releases on the vegetation and the animals. Silt is, is backing up behind the reservoir. The rate of siltation is a subject of debate. Over the next 100 years, the sediment load in the Lake Powell Basin may rise to the point where it begins to influence water management issues. That's going to be something that in the future, we're talking about a couple, three decades, that your generation is going to have to deal with, is what do we do about all that mud that's building up behind the dam? What are we going to do? Is the dam good or bad? We can't answer that question. Dams are simply the dinosaurs of the water world. They're going to be extinct. I've said repeatedly that we should tear down Glen Canyon Dam. There's an economic advantage for the dam being in place that is poorly recognized, as, as idealistic as we all are. We don't like dams, blah, blah, blah. It's certainly one of our largest employers is, is the dam itself. Losing those jobs would impact us a bit economically. But Page relies on tourism nowadays. Lake Powell would no longer have the great attraction that it presently does. Beautiful blue waters and orange-colored cliffs and giant reservoir for water skiers and houseboaters. Really popular for a lot of people. If you take the dam out, do you think that the river and the canyons are going to return to what they were before? Absolutely not. It can't happen. We've, we've put that footprint there forever. It is forever impacted. The reality is, you, you can get rid of it, uh, and we really should. I don't think that the expense and difficulty of pulling that big old hunk of concrete out of there should be wasting that much money. So, not a five-year plan for dismantling the dam, but a hundred-year plan for what are we going to do and how are we going to get there. Let's think about it together and, and, and come up with good solutions. <laughs>